Right, here we go. It's not the last leg, it's the one Port Up Wear, and then <coughs> from Port Up Wear across this horrible stony path. I just rested my feet, it made such a difference actually. I sat down, I just have jelly and a rice pudding, a bit of glucose. Two lots of people went by. This little church, it'll always be here. If Jude ever wants to visit, and their spirit world, she knows she can come here and me in the future. I will, I shall roam here. I shall roam everywhere. I'm just taking a gentle plod, I can't remember this. I think there's a hill to come in a minute. Well, at one time I would have seen this as a hill and I would have struggled. So it shows you in some ways how I've, my lungs have improved. It's really nice to do this bit because this little stretch is just a, a lovely example of the rest of the coastal walk up to Lynmouth. It's just a lovely example. And I just say bye to the church one more time. I love that church. I like that one today, and I like that St. Piero one. <sighs> no doubt other people will catch me up in a minute. Turns if they stop at the church or not. I'm just using the little Sony for now. I'm going to turn it off in a minute because I won't have anything for tomorrow. I won't be doing a lot tomorrow. At the moment, my um, codex won't work. It's packed up. I don't know why. I don't know. Might need a new battery. Might be knackered the battery. Oh well, it done. It did um, what I wanted it to do. It did an awful lot today, actually. It's probably got overheated. Do you know, what? I've put my top back on just for now because it did get a bit nippy, and I didn't want to feel. I didn't want to get cold after being very hot. So I put my top back on for now. And it's nice to be in the cool with a lovely breeze. It's really nice. That was a really good idea to take my shoes and socks off and air my feet for five or ten minutes. Really helped a lot actually. I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. Bye, 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 Colbone. I often think of you, and I've got you on tape on several occasions now. I told Jude about you. When I first did it, Jude was still alive. I think it was 2017. I'm sure it was. I'd have to look it up when I get home. Over and out. Right then. Some of the 18th century 
follies that they had in the country mansion park here. I used to know it all, I've got it on the other tape, who they were, the family, everything. Well, the house isn't there now. I kept thinking I hear whispers of people though, up there. <sighs> Little bridges everywhere, so around the country estate. They built bridges and little roadways. Oh. Oh. Right, here we are. This is the Bristol Channel that leads to the Atlantic Ocean. Um, there didn't seem to be anything really open at the... Um, there we are. Hello, old tree. You're a lovely old oak, aren't you? Coping quite well with the rising tides, aren't you, darling? Lots of people have passed under you. <sighs> Give me some strength, old oak. I feel sorry for you with all this water coming. <sighs> I love you. Yeah, I wanted to do this walk. My feet have eased up now. But they got hot and swollen and since I rested them and rearranged the socks and aired the socks, the toes don't seem to be rubbing now. They've got to be broken in the shoes. Boarding. No, I'm looking forward to walking this. I would have been back in a windy tent. But I'm going to get sandwiches and cake. I did like that. I did like that meal yesterday. It was bloody gorgeous, wasn't it? And the prosecco was probably cost me loads of money, but it was nice. So there we go, that's Porlock over there. We've just left Porlock Weir there. Very quiet. Coast path Bosington, two miles. I really don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to see what the, I feel like in the morning. Because I might actually stay another, but I might feel inclined to. floodplains. Yeah, I walked all along that yesterday, so I've done bits. Uh, all I want really is um, sandwiches, cake, and hot tea. But I can't have any milk. There aren't any. Yeah, somewhere along here is so where the plane crashed, I think, in the war. There's been a lot of those. Americans seem to be crashing them all the time. Not very experienced, I suppose. All right, over and out.